there are many setup options that you can customize in VRP. Here we will review a few common settings and show how to make changes. First, let's look at some point of sale settings. We will start by setting up a receipt printer. If you know the name of the setting you are looking for, type it in the search field. If you are not sure, type a keyword for the setting. In this case, we will type receipt. To narrow down the search results, we will type printer as the second search word. You can also select an area. Scroll down to locate the setting. Then you can change the printer by typing the new value. Or, if you are not sure of the exact name of the printer, click Find for a list of all printers. Highlight your selection, then click Printer. You can also change the style of the receipt by searching for the receipt type. Here you can choose from a variety of options including Standard and Full Page. Click Select Value to view your options. You can highlight a value and click Select. Or you can type the value if you know it. The preferred format is RTF2, which is a rich text format that creates a very nice result. This is the default used in all of the training clips. There is also a setting to define the number of receipt copies printed for a regular sale. You can change the value to any number, and this is the number of receipts that will print for each regular sale. You can assign a different number of credit card receipts to print. Some stores prefer to keep a merchant copy for their records, while others do not. Type the number of credit card receipts you would like to print for each transaction as the value. Sometimes, different locations may have different procedures that will require different settings. To assign a different setting to another store, click the Buy Store box. A window for your stores will open at the bottom left. Currently, no stores are shown. To load a listing of your stores, click Load All Stores. All stores will default to your current selection. You can change the value for a single store or multiple stores, whatever your preference. Within the same location, you may have registers that require different settings. To assign a different setting to a register, click the Buy Register box. An empty list will open. Choose the store, then type the register number, and enter the value for that register. Continue to do this for all registers that require a value. To enable the use of layaway sales, search Use Layaway. The value is currently set to Y, which means layaways can be used. To disable this feature, type the value N, or click Select Value and choose N from the list. To enable the use of sales reps, search Use Reps. Make sure the value is set to Y. To require a rep for every sale, search Sales Rep Required. Then set the value to Y. To require your cashiers to assign a customer to each sale, search Customer Required and change the value to Y. To enable Customer Special Orders, search Use Orders and verify that the value is Y. To require your cashiers to log in before each sale, search Log Off. If the value is set to Y, VRP will log out after every sales transaction. If your users log in by using a biometrics device such as a fingerprint scanner, search Biometrics and change the value to Y. To edit the store policies that print on the bottom of your receipts, click Policy Editor. Then, select the policy you would like to edit. Click Clear Policy Text to delete all text and start from scratch. Or you can click Import from File to import text from elsewhere. Instead of clearing the policy, you can edit the existing text. When you are finished, click Save Policy. You can also choose to assign a policy to a particular store and register. 
Choose the policy type, then enter the store and the register if applicable. Then type the new policy and click Save Policy. You can also change the font and add bold. To change the default font, click Save Setup. Click Bye Bye to exit the policy editor and return to the main setup. Click Global Setup for Global System Settings. Here there are settings related to credit card processing and program updates, plus many others. An important setting to review is the setup of Originator. Change the value from O to R for remote registers that will request information from the hub and update information to the hub instead of operating as independent originators. Click Bye Bye to exit the global setup and return to the main setup. To save your changes and exit the setup, click Bye Bye.